Hey guys, what's up? Rob Ball Triple Six here. Uh, add me on PSN. Uh, R O Double T B U Double L Triple Six uh, on PSN. Keep up to date with everything. I do post socially on there as well, so you can keep up with trophies and sort of what I'm doing and all of that. Super exciting video today. I've been uh, waiting for this one for quite a while. Um, I missed out on this uh, limited run Thumper 1000 Pieces Collector's Edition. Uh, I missed out on the uh, initial run, which was... When was that? Quite a while ago. Uh, it must have been maybe 2019, possibly 2018. Um, but what happened was the January 1st sale uh, that they did a little bit of overflow or their extra stock or whatever uh, Managed to secure one of these guys here. So 1,000 pieces of this. So I'm going to do a bit of an impression video on this one as well uh, For you also, but I do want to do an unboxing of the actual collector's edition. So uh, first collector's edition of PS4 limited run stuff. So uh, It's a nice foil pack so I'll hold that up for you there so you can check it out. What's that? Probably two DVD cases across. Uh, and probably three or four fat. Yeah, probably three or four. So I have unsealed this just to make it a little bit easier for the video as well. <clears throat> so pull this guy out of here. So if I pop him there... All right, so first thing you can get when you pull it out, uh, I haven't unsealed any of the stuff that's inside. So soundtrack with 10 tracks. So I was pretty excited for this one. Um, it was one of the ones I was sort of umming and ahhing about uh, as it when it initially came out. Um, and then was uh, really spewing when I didn't pick it up and it had sold out. Even just the normal edition, I was kind of looking for a normal edition or the collector's edition for a while. Uh, luckily enough, a collector's edition was listed on the, uh, extra stuff sale, so I grabbed that pretty quickly, and they sold out very quickly. They mustn't have had many copies left. Uh, so first thing before the game itself is, with this was under the game, so this is the steel book that comes with it also. Uh, very, very cool. Nothing inside it as yet. Pop him back in there for later, if he wants to go back in. Um, so obviously the game itself is still sealed. Back him back in there nicely. I can't really lay all of this stuff out too well. Pop him there maybe. Uh, so game still sealed. These were some of the older limited runs that didn't actually have any details on the back. I liked it when they did sort of update them a little bit to have a couple of screenshots and a little bit of blurb. I found that a little bit cheap. Um, I don't know why that was, whether that was a copyright thing or whatever the case was, but a little bit strange, I guess. Um, so removing this packaging, we find a beetle pin. show him up nice and close because he's quite small he's maybe an inch long uh he's quite weighty so it's kind of good quality uh yet again uh decent quality stuff with the limited run uh collector's edition stuff so this was or this is a poster that came with it as well try to unfurl him nicely it's obviously been folded for quite some time I grab that bit and then I fill it like that. So it's kind of big actually, it's bigger than I probably thought it was going to be. <clears throat> Just some artwork to the game itself and it is reversible. So on that side, that's that way up. So let's flick that around. So what's that? That'd have to be pretty close to A2. Yep. Measuring against the wall. Yep, so that's an A2 one. And then the back again, or well, depending on which way you've opened it, the front or the back. So I'll fold him back up there. Uh, now these are art cards or art something, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what exactly you'd call them. I think they've listed them as art cards, to be honest. 
So I'll flick those around, make sure they're the right way up. I think there's three in total, yeah. So that guy, are these all the right way up? It's very hard to tell. So basically it's an on-rail uh, rhythmic uh, response type of game. So we'll go into that in a moment. I mean, they're pretty cool. Uh, the collector's edition stuff, I do dig. Um, this I just wanted the game for this one. I'm, I'm really into the VR stuff, so there's not many limited run uh, VR games that I don't actually have. Uh, I will do some reviews on them because they are kind of uncommon as well. The limited run, as I'm packing all of these back up, uh, the limited run VR stuff can get quite limited, funny enough. Uh, a lot of those, I don't think I've seen one with a print run of over 2,000, so they are quite uh, quite a small batch product, as I'm thinking, putting all this back together. So this is kind of cool. I mean, it's it's pretty good quality stuff, um, which is cool. So I think the game, it's just the standalone game, is about 30 US dollars. Uh, this was a total of 64 US dollars, so... Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm just glad I picked up a copy. I'm not really phased if I had the collector's edition or not. So uh, let's chuck it on the VR. I'll show you the uh, uh, the viewer screen through the kiosk and we'll get an impression of the game. I haven't touched it, haven't played it, haven't put it on. Don't I, I know what it's about obviously so I was um, kind of hanging to get it. So I'll whack it on. Let's have a bit of a look. Thumper VR, here we go. Let's find my control. Let's go. Yeah, this looks cool. Whoops, I missed it completely. Alright, uh, the only reason I started off a little bit slow there was because I didn't know if we were pressing a different button or it's always X, but for now it seems to be always X, so... So when you're going around corners... You gotta hit the corners as well, cool. Oops, missed that. Oh, it looks amazing. It really does look so good in the video.
Yeah, the Friday effects are amazing. Right? All right. I wonder if he dies. So each one of those turn corner things, I don't know if that's coming through, but it seems to be going a little bit quicker. Yes. Nice. Whoa. That was fast. All right. Yeah, I love this. This is fantastic. Hey, good. It, the space feels so big. Definitely killing that thing. I think I missed that. Oh, I'm gonna do 
doing something or Okay. That looks so good. It's actually really intense. Now usually I'll be playing VR with headphones. Um, so I can hear what you guys are hearing. I'm not, well, not that I wouldn't anyway, but I'm not now. So I think this would be much, much better in uh, with headphones. Alright, I guess that's not too bad. Overall A. It got kind of intense towards the end. So what do we got here? The 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 levels. Alright, cool. Let's have a look at level 2. So it started off kind of, not kind of easy, but it definitely got a little bit harder as it went on. I wonder if we're going to chuck in new buttons now as well. Alright, so hold forward. So am I supposed to cross the first one? Ah, oh, you have to X and then R E and it crawls. That's what I thought, but Yeah, horrible. Did I not score a point? So through the blue barriers, perhaps? Because they're up. Okay. I'm missing this altogether. I'm not getting any points. Pretty quick. I don't know if that's translating on the screen, but it comes up kind of quick. Like the change in... yeah, that was horrible. Okay, so you can die. There you go. Alright. Okay, so I let go of X there, where that was the hold one. I don't know why, but I thought for some reason I had to repress it, but I was already going through it, so that kind of makes no sense. Badly now. Alright, let's get through this.
Okay. So there was a bin in there that I missed an X by itself. Okay, no, 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 that's way off there. Oh, I'm still here. That's coming at me pretty fast at the moment. I don't know how well that's translating on the screen, but that's coming up pretty quick. Cool. It's almost a different way to find Beat Saber. I love these rhythmic games though. suck at it, but that's not um, the point, is it? Too bad. Yes, there you go. Oh, that's the only got to hold forward. Whoops. That coming at you is awesome. This is very cool. Really glad that I was able to pick this up uh, after the fact. I mean, there are listings on eBay, but they can get pretty expensive. And I like physical copies. I don't like. I'm not that I don't like it. I do have some digital only games, uh, downloads from a PSN store, but I much prefer uh, a physical copy. That's why I'm happy to support Limited Run and Play Asia. There's a, another game I've got, uh, which is very similar to this actually, Res Infinite. Uh, that was through a company that escapes me at the moment, but that was also a digital only game for a long time that they put in. Um, they did a physical copy of, so I picked that one up, and that's awesome, that game. You know, I'll do a review on that one as well at some stage, an impression. I just find it hard to do an impression video on something that I've already played. It doesn't, to me, seem authentic. It would more be a review. But this is cool, I love this. S. Yes. Cool. I mean, it's a simple game. It's just, you know, colours and shapes floating above you. There's no back to it. I'm not outside. Um, I mean, I guess you could kind of sit here and be a lot more intense. Um, but it's just simple. It's simple, yet it's really fun. Miss that. And there you have it, Thumper PS4 VR. I loved it. Um, it was pretty much exactly what I was expecting it to be. Um, it was, it, like I was all saying throughout the, the gameplay there, it's quite basic and simple. There's no sort of 360 degree around you. It looks amazing though. So basically even just that picture you see there, 
um, that coming at you is, is pretty intense. Um, have you guys played it? What do you think? Have you got all the way through it? Um, I could see that getting pretty difficult towards the end, mainly because of the sharp turns that you're going through. Things come at you pretty quickly, so it's kind of hard to, to keep up. So it may be one of those things. I've got I read you a level there maybe five or six times. Um, once you know the pattern of what, what's coming, you can kind of you can kind of get into it as well. One thing that was a little bit strange and I don't think was done the best was the rhythmic side of it. So, like a la Beat Saber, where you're actually hitting the um, the beat as it comes at you, I expected that to be pretty much dead on. Sometimes it was a little bit off the music. I don't know if that translated through the screen that you were looking at or how that exactly worked, but that's kind of what it felt like. It wasn't dead spot on. But aside from that, that's a minor complaint. Would I throw it on again and play it? Definitely, definitely gonna get through all of that. So what do you guys think? Have you played it? Have you downloaded it? Do you have this collector's edition? Did you pick up the original collector's edition? Are you one of the people on eBay selling it for triple what you paid for it? Uh, let me know, whack some comments down the bottom, uh, have a talk about it. Um, and let me know how, how actually hard it does get towards the end, because it'll probably take me a while to get there. Um, but that's pretty much it. Check out some of the other videos we've done. This is the first VR one um, that I've done, but I will do a lot more. I've got heaps of the limited run VR games. Also, as I discussed a little bit ago when I did have the headset on was Res Infinite. So there's not a lot of those floating around. I'm not sure if there was an actual number as to how many of those were pressed. I don't have the uh, case close. Um, but that's amazing. So if you've played that, if you've downloaded that from the store or you've actually got a physical copy, good for you uh, for supporting these things. Um, but yeah, check that out. I will have that online um, in some stage as well. Thanks very much for watching. Take it easy.